All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project Science Psycho again with you today. And in this one, I am going to be uh, reviewing Assassin's Creed 2. Hello, ladies and so let's just get on to it. To um, Assassin's Creed 2, 2 is the yes, is second, the game yes, the second game in the Assassin's Creed Assassin's series, um, which pretty much features the same kind of plot as the first one did. Basically, you go back into the Animus to relive the life of one of your ancestors. In this part, it's um, Ezio Auditore, one of the Italian nobles whose family has been murdered by the other nobles. Um, so yeah, there's a, g there's a really, really nice plot to the story. <laughs> so yeah, as far as the story goes, you kind of... <coughs> you pretty much do the same as you did in the previous ones. Go into the Animus, go back in history, stop the Templars from taking over the world, finding the Apple of Eden, and the staff, if I'm not mistaken. So, you have to be the good guy again. Um, being an assassin, killing everybody without them seeing you, um, you can actually kill everybody and nobody will see. But it's better just to kill the one person you have to without other people seeing and letting the other guys live. So, yeah, as far as the gameplay and everything goes, the gameplay has been updated a bit. Um, they have added some new features to the game which make it a bit more, well, playable. A bit even better to play and to, to actually go through everything. The map is freaking huge. Um, it takes a lot, and I mean a lot of time, to get from one point to another if you go on foot. But that is why the fast travel systems and everything else are here. Um, the game has, well, in Assassin's Creed 2, it's one of my favorite games because of the cool features that they have added to the game. Um, which are, which pretty much make the game even more interesting. Like flying and everything and all of the kind of things that you don't usually do in games. So yeah. Um, as far as the graphics go, as you can see, the graphics have been updated a bit. It's a bit older. Well, it came out after Assassin's Creed 1, obviously. Um, so everything has been updated to look a bit nicer. The requirements for it aren't that, um, aren't that high, especially um, because of the time we live in. Um, so it's going to run on a pretty much potato computer um, that has the kind of minimum minimum specs for it so yeah that's gonna be all from my side in the meantime do not forget to like and subscribe comment on the videos and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one